I call Mr. Patrick James Caloran. As far as a racial development of a people is concerned, in Australia we have integrated into it, I suppose, traditions of the piping in of the haggis of the Scots and the Irish have St Paddy's Day and so on. The Islanders are no different. They have their traditions, of course, but they've always felt and believed that they were part of Queensland, that all the laws of Queensland, including the land laws of Queensland, if I want to be specific, have applied to them in the same way they apply to all other Queenslanders. The court will now adjourn for the Honourable Judge Moynihan to consider his verdict. establishes that Murray Islanders recognise the continuance of claims to garden plots and recognise or dispute claims of entitlement by individuals in respect of these plots. It seems clear enough that garden land was primarily acquired by inheritance and that that remains the practice. It is acknowledged by some at least of Murray Islanders that there is Marbo land on the islands. I am, however, not prepared to find on the evidence that Eddie Marbo was adopted as heir by Benny and Maiga Marbo, or that Benny transferred land to him during his lifetime. Eddie Marbo is, in my view, quite capable of tailoring his story to whatever shape he perceived would advance his cause in the particular forum. I would not be inclined to act on his evidence in a matter bearing on his self-interest. David Passy, I found to be an essentially honest witness. The Passy family accept that Passy lands are not divided, but used as a family. What did I do wrong? If he found in favor of Dave and James, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. Did I claim too much land? But it's my land. Queensland fired all their cannons at you and he believed them. You're an easy target. But why? What was I? In hindsight, perhaps we could have claimed a bit less on your behalf. And claiming to be the eye. I don't think it helped. He thought I was greedy. Selfish and greedy. That's how they made it look. And he believed it. It's not fair. It's not stinking fair! He was too articulate. He read too much. He was just too smart. <laughs> He's devastated, Ron. What are we going to advise? Well, we appeal over at his land or we destroy Terra Nullius. Vision splendid. <laughs> You've got to make a hard decision, Eddie. We can appeal Monaghan's findings on your behalf. It'll cost money we don't have and it will take time. Queensland could tie it up in court for years. Or oh. we proceed into the High Court. The findings about James Rice's garden plots and Dave Passy's house block, they're enough for us to build a case on. But you'd need to be separately represented. If I appeal, it's about Eddie Marbo's land. If I don't, and then you take it to the High Court, it's about all the blackfellas, isn't it? That's... Not just the islanders. On the mainland, too. Look, we believe the High Court's been holding this window open for years. We're afraid that if we delay any longer, we'll lose the moment and set the whole cause back another decade. And you think you can win? I'm optimistic. Maybe I could ask Greg to represent me. Just, you know, in the High Court. Thanks, Nella. You think you wouldn't mind? 
I think he'd be honored. And the name, is it still? Or would it be Mabo and others? We're not taking your name off the case, Eddie. Forget the appeal. Go to the High Court. We're gonna make it, Ma. For the plaintiffs, I've published my findings accordingly. Of the conflagration of oppression and conflict which was to dispossess, degrade, and devastate the Aboriginal peoples and leave a national legacy of unutterable shame. The nation as a whole must remain diminished unless and until there is an acknowledgement of and a retreat from those past injustices. Six members of the court are in agreement that the common law of this country recognises a form of native title. existence of Aborigines prior to white settlement. The case is a moral victory. As Mabo well as is an historic decision. We can make it an historic turning point. The basis of a new relationship between Indigenous and non-Aboriginal Australians. Me. The 
rest of the night was not so bad. I thought about the struggles I've been through over the past years, while the rest of Black Australia waits with me for the High Court decision to be brought down at any time. I also thought about how my wife, the most important person in my life, has stuck to me over many hardships and hurdles, but somehow we made it. My wife has been the most adorable person, a friend closest in my life, a most wonderful lover. And we loved every minute of our lives together.